Hello, and welcome back to Fallout 76. Today, we're going to have a look at the perk Team Medic. With Team Medic, your stim packs now also heal nearby teammates. So what I'm curious about, uh, actually a few things, uh, but the first thing I want to test is it says nearby, and I don't know what that means. How close is nearby? Now, the reason this question has come up for me is because I've experimented with this perk recently, and I've come up with mixed results. And so I've kind of wondered how close you actually have to be. Now, here I am inside my vault, and I have a teammate who is as far away as possible inside the vault. And I suspect that this uh, will not be close enough. I don't know for a fact, but I'm assuming that if I use a stim pack, it will not affect my teammate's health. And you can see in the lower left, my teammate has very little health, and you can just see that health bar move when I use a stim pack. So there's a stim pack. And as you can see, it's having no effect at all on my teammate's health. All right, so if I get a little closer, I'm about kind of in the middle of this little opening area here. And if I do another stim pack, you can see I'm still not close enough to affect my teammate's health. All right, so now I am in the entryway to the second area, and uh, we'll see what happens now. So I do a stim pack, and it's still, I am still not close enough. So obviously at this point, you could tell the distance has to be Fairly close. All right, so we are, are a little closer. You can see where the doorway is there. And if I do a stim pack now, still not close enough. Okay, so I'm in about the middle part of this area, of this uh, section of the vault. And if I use a stim pack now, there we go. So I'm close enough there to affect my teammate's health. So yeah, pretty close. This would be about if you were doing an uplink in a daily op, you're probably typically this close or closer to your teammates, so it would work for that. All right, so now I'm about halfway between the last point that didn't work and the point that did work. And yeah, that's still too far. So, so it looks like about right here is as far away as you can be from a teammate uh, for this perk to actually work. Now, my assumption is that this works with any kind of stim pack. I was using just regular stim packs for this first part of the test. But just for completeness sake, I'm going to use a diluted and a super just to make sure it works with those kinds of stim packs as well. So here we have the diluted stim pack. And as you can see, it is affecting my teammates' health. They're healing up a little bit. And if I use a super stim pack, that should restore the rest of, yep, in quick fashion. So any kind of stim pack will work with this perk. Now, another question I have is, will it work if your teammate is downed can you actually use uh, a stim pack on yourself and have it revive them? That's something I have never tried. Uh, I suspect it's not going to work, but I want to test it anyway. All right, so I have my down teammate and uh, I'll have to activate a stim pack from here. And if I do a stim pack on myself, yep, it doesn't revive them, which is kind of what I thought would happen, but I decided I would go ahead and test that. Now, another question I have is suppose I, uh, Trigger Born Survivor, where it stims me, if that will actually affect a teammate. So what I'll do is I'll down myself to the point where Born Survivor kicks in, or I'll damage myself enough to the point where Born Survivor kicks in, and we'll see if it has any effect on my teammate's health bar. All right, should be close for it to kick in. There we go. Oh, it does. Look at that. Okay, so Born Survivor actually will trigger the perk for my, or will trigger a stim pack that uh, helps my teammate as well. Okay, I did not expect that to work, but that's pretty cool. So now I have unequipped Born Survivor and I have a piece of auto stim armor. And I wanna see if uh, when that triggers, if that will also heal my teammate. And this will trigger at 25%, which we should be close to. Oh, there it is. And yeah, my teammate heals as well. Okay, so that works too. Now what I would like to test is, uh, will it work with life saving? If that triggers, uh, yeah, if that triggers, will that be a stim pack that heals my teammate? I don't know. Let's find out. Yeah, since Born Survivor worked, I really expected auto stim to work as well, because it's pretty much the same thing. Uh, life saving, I don't know. Since you go do, into a down state, uh, I'm not sure what will happen here. I'm not, I actually don't expect this to work, but uh, we are about to find out. Now, I am wearing a full set of life saving. So yeah, that just uh, kept me alive with like one HP and it did nothing for my teammate. So that's pretty much what I expected to happen. 
Now, since uh, Life Saving and Mysterious Savior act pretty much the same way, my guess is that won't work either, but I want to try it anyway since I'm here. Okay, so we have the Mysterious Savior saved me, sort of. Yep, I have one health point, but uh, you can see it had no effect on my teammate. That's pretty much the result I expected since Life Saving behaved the same way. All right, so I'm going to down myself again and when my teammate revives me, watch the teammate's health bar. I've re-equipped, I've re-equipped Team Medic and I'm not sharing it. So now I'm in a down state and my teammate revives me and my teammate heals as well. So even if the stim pack used on me isn't my own stim pack, it still triggers the perk. And there you have it. That is everything I could think to test Team Medic with. Uh, I think I have a much better understanding of how the perk works and uh, how it interacts with other effects. Uh, I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please hit one of the buttons down below, and I hope you'll join me in the next one. Thank you very much.